my puppy got attacked. You'll be okay, you'll be okay. I'll take care of you. Oh my goodness, I need to get him inside. I need to get him inside. This is not good. Buzz, what's wrong? Buzz, no, what happened? Let me fill you in on how my puppy got attacked. We have had lots of pool construction going on for a very, very long time. But ever since the pool construction started, we've had nothing but problems. Like, uh, what is this doing here? This should not be here. We gotta get this out of the way. As soon as they started digging, it has led to an infestation of snakes. Wait a second, I think they're back. Is that a snake right there? Right here. Oh my goodness. The snakes, I think, are back again. That right there looks like a snake. Now that we've had so many snakes around, I'm like not afraid of them anymore. There's a snake. Oh, uh, that is way bigger than the snake that I saw. Because there's been so many. Is that right there one? Woo! It's squishy, it's squishy. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh, that looks like a snake. Can't tell. Wait a second. Uh, is that a, no. I think this is just piping for the pool. This literally looks like a snake, oh my goodness. And it moves like one too. I think it's just plastic. I don't know, I'm getting that off me. After the snakes, there was another creature. So the pool got sealed and water started to build up at the bottom down here. And mini alligator showed up and started making its home right here in this water. I think it's fully gone, hopefully. The problem is since it's not chlorinated water, it's rainwater. A lot of animals like to live in here and make it their home. Look at that. I don't know what that is, but that thing is massive. It comes running at me, I'm running away. And yeah, the water is super dark right now. Look at all that. There definitely could be something living in there. So I'm getting out of here. That is scary. But not only that, with all these hills of dirt, it has also led to a perfect nesting ground for foxes. That I may be a little too close. Because there could be a fox right there. They like to bury in the dirt and they have been taking over. There he is guys, the baby fox is back. There's even more over here. Right here they have to dig to put in the new pool pumps which is making a new dirt pile which means another home for the foxes. They are living in these dirt piles and it's a whole family of foxes. The problem is when the pool's under construction all these crazy animals are taking over and it's super super dangerous for my puppy and even ourselves. And this is the reason why my puppy got attacked. In Steven's last vlog, he was supposed to be babysitting my puppy, but somehow my puppy got loose out of its fence. Buzz? Buzz? No, 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 no. Buzz escaped his play area and got attacked by a fox. I knew this was gonna happen sooner rather than later. So hopefully my puppy's gonna be okay. Is she okay? Oh my goodness. I'm so nervous. I'm not sure what happened. Oh no. He doesn't even want to be picked up. Here, I got you. I got you. Oh no. He's whining. It's okay. It's okay. I got you. Oh, this does not look good. What happened? Did they bite you? What's going on? This is the moment where I wish. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I got you. I got you. I wish dog could talk right now. Let's go inside. We'll get you water, get you cooled off, and then we can see what happened. Oh, it's okay. I know that's so scary. Those foxes are literally taking over the house. They act like they own this land and not us, which is super scary for a puppy. You okay? Oh, something's up. I just don't know what it is. Let's get him water. Let's get you some water. Thank goodness for this dog wash shower. Put you down. Can you stand? Okay. Hey, hopefully his legs are okay. Now let me bring this down. Give you some water. Buzz, here's some water. There you go. It's good. Okay, at least he's drinking. That's a good sign. If dogs drink and eat, it's a really good sign. That's what the vet said. That's good. Keep drinking. It's hot out there. So it seems like he's drinking a lot. So I got a bowl. Here we go. Here. There you go. We're so thirsty. Never seen him drink this much. We're so thirsty. Come on. You all done? He's still going. Let me see. Oh, is your leg hurting? Why are you falling over? Let me check your paws. Does that hurt? No? How this one? Okay, that looks good. Paws look good. Anything stuck in them? I don't know what happened out there. Oh, did that hurt? Did that hurt? I think it's like... <gasps> oh, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Looks like his top left paw is hurting. Is there something stuck or what happened? Are you bleeding? Oh no. Maybe something is really wrong with him. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Let me call my mom and see what she thinks I should do. Should I take him to the vet? I don't know. Because I don't see anything. But he's acting funny. Hey Siri, call Mama Cher. Hey mom. Hey Grace, what's up? Oh yeah, everything I think is okay. Um, the only thing is we lost Buzz. He was out 
running around, he escaped and the foxes are out. We saw the foxes today. And then when we went to find Buzz, he was kind of acting weird out by the white barn, which he never goes that far. But I can't tell if the foxes attacked him or if he just got startled. Yeah, uh, he, he like, his front left paw, he won't let me touch it, but I can't find anything, like there's no pricker stuck in it, there's no bleeding, I don't know what's happening. Hopefully he'll be okay, Grace. Do you think I should take him to the vet? Keep an eye on him. If his symptoms get worse, you'll have to call the vet right away. Okay, bye. But for now, I'll just be monitoring him for the next few hours. He's got my shoe, so that's a good sign. Normally, I don't let him chew on my shoes because then he'll break my shoes. But since you're not feeling well, I'll let you get a little free pass. Earlier that day, after the situation happened, I kept a close eye on my puppy. Everything seemed okay until later on. He was doing just fine. He was playing around with his favorite toys like he always does. He was running around in the grass looking looking so happy and he even learned a new trick. My puppy is such a baby that I have to teach it how to go down steps because that way he can play and go up and down the steps and be very self-sufficient. I don't have to carry him. He's so scared. I know he can do it because I saw him do a few steps. So I gotta teach him. Come on, Buzz. If he can do that step, then he can do these ones because they're just one after the other. Come on. You just did that step. You can do these ones. They're the same height. Oh boy, yes. Good boy. There you go. Good job. Yeah. Good job, Buzz. Okay, Buzz, just the two steps. You're almost there. Come on. <gasps> Got it. Oh. <gasps> no. Okay, let's try this again. He's back on the top step. Come on, Buzz. <laughs> Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Yay. Buzzy, you did it. Good boy. Yeah. Are you proud of yourself? Yeah, you did so good. Good boy, good boy. Okay, you're excited. Let's put you down. Go celebrate. There you go. Then his health took a turn for the worst. Hi, Buzz. Hi, sweetie. You're still sleeping? Oh, no. Buzz has been sleeping for extra long. He does take naps because he's a baby, but he's been asleep for a very, very long time. He went to sleep at 1 o'clock. It's now 5 o'clock. He's not even excited to see me. Only one, he's up and ready to get out of his playpen. And two, normally he's so full of energy. But he's just in his bed and itching. Oh no. What's wrong? He's not even coming out. Normally, he rushes out of this playpen. Because no puppy wants to be in a playpen and in its crate. This is odd. You okay? Hi. Buzz, what's wrong? You okay, sweetie? You okay? <gasps> what? You never stay in your crate like this. Hi. Hi. What's wrong? You just fell down. You just tired or something going on? What is he doing? Let me try and give him a toy. Here, here you go. Okay, he is so tired right now. Can I hold you? I'm gonna see if he will let me hold him. What's going on? You walk? I think so. Oh, but he's just sitting. It looks like he wants to tell me something, but I can't tell what he's saying. Something is up. Okay, um, I don't know what to do. I don't want to take him out of his crate because I want him to learn that that's good. Hi, come here. Maybe he physically cannot come out. Let me see. Can I see your paw? It's okay. He's using his nose to like push my hand away. Let me see, what's wrong? Okay, something's definitely up with his paw, but he's not really letting me see it. Can't see, I think it's something. Right there. Let me see. Roll over. Good boy. Let me see your paws. Oh, okay, 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 okay. This one looks really dark. Look at that. That's so dark down there. He keeps itching himself, which he's never done before. Right back here. Oh, wait a second. I think I found it. Right here. His hair looks different and it's shorter. There's a chunk of his hair missing. Do you see how long it is right there? I can hold it. It's like super long, but right here, there's nothing. <gasps> What happened? Oh my goodness. I knew something was up. Oh my. That is not good. That is not good. Baby, you got bit. He's missing hair. Oh, baby. You did get attacked by the foxes. Here, mama wants to hold you. Okay, I'm gonna give him like a new toy because he's not feeling well. Here, have that. Have that. To try and just distract him. I don't think my puppy's okay. Looks like the foxes did attack him and I need to do something fast. I need to call Steven. Siri, call Steven. Hey, Steven, can you hear me? Yeah, a little. I'm calling from my Apple Watch. Okay. Okay. 
Um, so, I think something is wrong with Buzz. I, I don't think he's doing okay. From the foxes? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I think I need to take him to the vet. Definitely take him to the vet. I would take him there now. Yeah. Yeah, make sure it's okay. It could be, it could be bad. I'm gonna take him to the vet. I, I think I have to go right away. He's crying a lot. I, I gotta go. Okay, okay, bye. I'll we'll bring this black bag and I'll keep him in here to keep him nice and comfy and have some comfort. And in here I have his stuffed animal that he's had since day one. So this will be nice to have at the vet, I think. Put this in here, blanket. And then I have to get some paperwork stuff. Oh, I'll have to lock the door. Lock this. What else do we need? I don't think we'll need too much. So I don't think we'll be there for that long, but I do need this. This envelope is super important. It has all his records from his past vet. So now that I'm the owner, I have to transfer all the records to my new vet. We need this. We don't bring this. They said they can't see us. So definitely need to pack this in his black bag. I wanna have wipes just in case if he has an accident because he is a puppy and not potty trained yet. And then leash, that's good. And harness right in there. Oh yeah, there you are. Good morning. He looks like he's excited. Might have to get shots today, which I'm really sad about, but we'll just see. We'll take it step by step. Put this in here. And then I do want to bring a chew toy because his teeth are hurting because he's growing his teeth. He's teething right now because his gums hurt because his teeth are trying to pop through. So and we'll bring this chew toy and this funky thing. I don't know why. I think it's supposed to be able to like sit on something and then they can chew their teeth. Let's put this in here. Like that. So the bag looks all nice and set up for baby. Now are you ready? Yeah. You are are just the baby. We're gonna find out how much you weigh and not sure what else we'll find out, but it'll be a very interesting visit. Let's put you in your nice little box that I got set up for you. All loaded up. Let's head to the car and head on over to the vet. Oh no, this is not good. Turns out my puppy's not okay. We need to get him to the vet right away. We gotta hurry. I don't even know what vet to go to. I've never been to a vet. I haven't even drove in a car with my puppy. I'm so nervous. Okay, it's okay. I hate when he cries like that. Oh no. Is this where you put a dog in a car? I don't know. Just give this a try. You just gotta hurry and get there. Let's see, at least you're in the box. That's good. Maybe I'll put this over here so he'll be safe when I drive. So it's like kind of like a car seat. Well, I am sweating. I'm sweating so much. You okay, hang put, okay. Oh, you're itchy. Oh, he's itching so bad. Oh no. I'll scratch it. Oh, that's not good. Give you this for the car ride. Doesn't even want his toys, which means he's not feeling good. Okay, at least he's still eating. That's a really, really good sign. Okay, in the front seat, we gotta get going. Sweating, I'm so nervous. I hope I have everything. I don't even know if I have my phone, my ID. I don't know what I need. I tried to pack everything, but we gotta get going. Here we go. Buckle up. Puppy's there. Looks like he's sleeping. I don't wanna touch him. Okay, I'm so nervous to drive with him. This is my first time driving with a puppy. Wish us luck. I am so nervous driving with a puppy and I need to get him to the vet soon because I'm not sure what could happen and it's a 15 minute car ride. Smash the subscribe button right now to give me extra good luck. I really, really need it. Let's get going. I hate all these doctor's offices because you can never tell which spot is the place that you're going to because it's like a huge building. Oh, this place is huge. Go in there, keep right, okay. Pull up right here. Okay, this should be good. Put ourselves in park. We're here. I think we go in that door, hopefully, because we gotta get my puppy in. Oh my goodness, I forgot to turn off my car. Ah, perfect. Clearly, I'm super frazzled. Just deep breaths, deep breaths. Okay, let's get Buzz out of the car. Okay, how you doing? You okay? How are ya? Oh, he's breathing so fast. You doing okay? How's the car ride? You okay? Okay, hold on. Let me get you in. Guess we don't need this box. I know, it'll be okay. You just need a vet to see you, okay? I need you to get looked at. It's okay. Yeah? Okay, let me just grab this. And let's get going. Good boy. Everything will be okay, I promise. Go. Let's see. Four, three, perfect. You're such a good boy. Okay, good boy. You have to go to four, three, right here. You're doing so good. I know the doctors and the vets can be very scary. Okay, we made it. Go. Hi. Yes, I'm checking in Buzz Sharer. Hi, Grace. Did you called earlier? Yeah, that was me that called earlier. What happened? A potential fox attack. How old is Buzz? He is just eight weeks old. Weight? Five pounds. When this happened? Uh, it happened maybe like two hours ago. I, I didn't see anything. 
Um, he kind of escaped and I'm not sure what happened, but I'm bringing him in for symptoms that got worse. Okay, come with me. Okay, great. We got all checked in and we're in our exam room, just waiting for the nurse and doctor to come in. And there's little baby, you okay? Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Hi, I'm Dr. River, and I'll be taking care of Buzz today. Hi, yes, it's so nice to meet you. We had a little situation back at home. There's a spot in the back left, and that looks like the spot where the foxes attack. Before we take a look, I do want to say a few things. As a puppy, we have to be very careful if any contact with animals and even dogs. Since Buzz is young, we need to be aware. So it's great that you brought him in. Hi Buzz, how are you feeling? Foxes can be very dangerous to baby pups and for sure attack them. Let's put you on the table and take a look to see what's going on. This was getting serious because puppies are at a very high risk for multiple infections and diseases passed through animals. So Dr. River wanted to take a full exam on Buzz to see if there's anything deeper happening. Has he been walking okay? Let's put him on the floor to see. So far, it looks like Buzz is doing great. He can support himself on all four paws evenly, even though his front paw is sore and his back left hip was attacked. Looks like we will need some shots since he was in contact with another animal. And I'll run some tests. I see this. Stop is hurting him. Here comes the scary news that Buzz really didn't want to hear. So I held him until he was fully ready to get his shots and medication. Okay, we just finished the vet and that was very, very scary for Buzz. He got a lot of shots and we have results from the doctor. Thank goodness we took my puppy to the vet because definitely had something going on. Yeah, really sad right now because of the shots. The vet said that the shots can make him really sleepy and make his arms hurt, so we'll keep a good eye on you. Yeah, you did so good though. I know, it's scary. It can be very scary, but you did such a good job. Maybe to make him feel better, we take you shopping. Yeah, get you some treats and toys. Okay, let's load you in. Oh, he's such a sad puppy right now. I don't like seeing you sad. Yeah, you did so good. I know that was so scary and you don't feel good right now. Share a smash like button for Buzz so he can feel better. So good. The vet said it's gonna take at least a whole day for Buzz to feel better and that I need to keep a very, very close eye on him because he did get some shots, which can make his arms feel extra sore and make him feel very, very tired. And since he's so little, it can affect him even more. Yeah, I know. You're such a good boy. His arms may be very sore. We'll get home. He did so good though. Let's load you in, okay? Okay, let's put you in. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, that's great. Let's zip him up. Let's see if he'll stay in there. And then we have to head to Petco because the results of what happened to my puppy are in here and I have to pick up some prescriptions and some items that will soothe his symptoms. So we have to make a pit stop. I think since he was such a good boy, we'll also take him shopping. Okay, let's go. Oops, FedEx is in the way. Hong Kong, please move. Okay, let's see. You can pick out anything you want since you're not feeling good. Oh, you wanna look at the bird? Yeah, you see the birdies down there? I don't think we can get a bird, but maybe a toy. Yeah, let's go see the toy. Let's head to the toy section. This is the cat section. I don't think you'll want anything from there. And toys, yeah, this is gonna be your section. Okay, you can get whatever you want. Let's see, I'll bring you closer. Now whatever you touch, I'll let you get. <laughs> you want one of those monsters? It looks like he does. Okay. We'll put this in the cart. Let's keep going down here. Let me know if you see anything you like. Like any of these ones? Okay, let's put that in. Any balls? You want any new balls? Look a little big for his size. This one is absolutely way too big for you. <laughs> yeah, it's almost your size. Let's see if there's any smaller ones. You like any of these over here? Pick something out. Do you like chew toys because you're teething right now? Can you show the shares your teeth? Yeah, his teeth are so small and they're coming in. So he loves to chew on things. So I think we should get him a new chew toy. You looking for a new toy? Yeah, look all around. Let me know which one you want. Ooh, this one might be nice. You like that one? That feel good on your teeth? Yeah, I think he likes this one. Get that. Ooh, how about this one? I think mommy knows what you like. This one looks cool. And it's made for puppies. Teething and soothing gum. You could really use this one. Ooh, you like that one? That is gonna be perfect. That'll be your new teddy bear for bedtime. You'll love that. Let's go shopping. Let's see what will Buzz pick out. There's so many good options. Yeah? 
Look around. Do you like this one? Yeah, this one has a sweet toy in it. We'll add this to the cart. So far, I think getting these new toys is making him feel so much better. Are you feeling better? Not quite, but I think it's helping. Yeah. Okay, now let's go get your medicine. Ooh, perfect. I think this is the aisle. Let's see, there's a lot of medicine right here. Here. Look for the puppy one. This looks good. Perfect. I'll put this in. And then a few more things to pick up. Here they are. You're already playing with your toy. You want me to open it? Okay, let me save the barcode so I can still buy it, but I'll let you play with it until then. Hold on, good boy. Still have to buy it. There you go. You like that? I picked that one out. I'll save this so I can still check out with it, but he'll play with it for the meantime. Okay, let me look at the list, see what we need. We need some of these and some of these and some of these. Buzz is loving his new toys. In fact, you can't even tell which one is Buzz and which one's the toys. He blends in because he has so many. He picked out so many good ones and he's already playing with them, which means he loves them, which is perfect. Yeah? Okay, don't get your medicine. Stay with your toys. I think this shopping spree was a success. I got everything on his medical list. Let's get you home so you can feel all better. Shares, make sure you go follow Buzz on his Instagram and his TikTok to give him extra good love because he's feeling under the weather. Yeah, tell them. Tell them to go follow you. <laughs> yeah. Good boy. And hopefully in next vlog, my baby puppy will be feeling a lot better. Shares, thanks for all the support and help. And Buzz, you want to close out the video? You know how to do it? Yeah, you guys say shares, stay awesome, and share the love. Peace. <laughs> Woo!